What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Horror of the Deep. This game released onto the Xbox One April 3rd, 2020 for a price of $9.99. It's a pretty short and easy completion. It only takes about 20 minutes to a half an hour. There's 10 achievements. You basically get an achievement every time you finish uh, one of the parts. And then at the last part you get uh, two achievements. So there's only like 9 levels that we gotta play basically. So let's start the game. The levels are pretty short actually, most of them. The only one tricky is the last one. So you can uh, go through this level, you hold L bumper to run. You hit A to open up doors. So we're just gonna make our way through here to the end. You can press Y to jump as well. Now you just go straight pretty much the whole level until you get here. And then once you go through here, that will end the first level and you'll get the first achievement. Alright, now the second level. This one we need to uh, find three keys. Sometimes they're not always in the same place, but uh, they should be. If not, you can uh, restart the level if you want. So keep going down here. Before you get to the stairs, you're going to make a left. And that will bring you up here. And there should be a key up here. And that's the first one. Now we're going to go down the stairs. Now if you go left, go down here. There should be a key in here. There's a trap on the floor. Be careful. There might not be a key in here, which is not a big deal. There's another spot it could be. So leave this room. Now look to the side over here. There's probably not one over here, but on the next side, there should be one. There we go. Now I got two keys. You might That might be your third key. But uh, if you still need a key, you can check in this room and there might be a key. Alright, so now I got three keys. And I can go out the door here. And that's the end of the second level. And we're going to get our achievement. Alright, so now this is the third level. Just make your way across. Just keep going straight. And that's the end of the third level. <laughs> that one's a nice, easy, short one. Alright, now for the fourth level. This one actually has enemies around that we need to watch out for. They crawl around on the ground. So come out here, go to this door straight ahead. It's a little to the right. You'll see the first guy on the floor. This guy is really slow. He shouldn't bother you. You're going to go to the left and go all the way to the end. And you should see a key here. Sometimes it's not here though. Sometimes they move around, but they don't move that much. Um, and if they do move, you might want to just let the guy on the ground grab you and then just restart it. Alright. Now we're going to go to the stairs in the back here and go straight. Now there's going to be another guy on the ground. This guy's a little faster, so be careful. We're going to go down the left hall again. So just keep going down. Be careful, there's a guy crawling around over here. Just go all the way straight down. It's hard to see, but there's actually a door back here. So open up this room, and there should be a key in here. Alright, so now I got two keys. I need one more. Alright, make your way back. Listen to the sounds and the music. You can kind of tell if they're close. Now we're going to go down to the other side. Be careful of this guy. He almost got me, actually. Now, going all the way down, don't go all the way to the end because there's a hole you'll drop down. You're going to make a left and then a right and there's a door. Go inside here, make a right. Go left. Now on the right wall, you should see a key. And that's my third key, so now I can exit the level. 
Now I gotta make my way back. So we go right and then left and then left and then right. Now just go down this hallway and we'll be back into the main room. Watch out for the guy. Now head straight towards the back and then we can exit out the door. And that's gonna finish this level and give us an achievement. All right, now for the next level. Head straight and we're gonna pick up the lantern here. Just click A on it. Now we can take it out with X. Now we need to uh, turn around in the back right corner is a lever. Press A on it and that's going to open up this gate so we can exit. Now if you come here and you keep pressing Y you'll jump. So jump over this ledge and come down here. And we're going to go through this way. Go through the door. And just follow the path down. Alright, we have to be careful here. Halfway through is a trap, so just look at the floor. There, that button. Just walk around it. And now we're safe, so just keep going straight. You could shut off the lantern to uh, conserve power. Just keep following the path. Go up the stairs. Make a right at the top of the stairs. And then make a left. And now we're just going to follow this all the way down. Make a left into here. Make a left. And you're going to see another switch. Press that. And that's going to open up the exit. Now we're just going to go back. And the exit is right here. So we're going to finish this level and get another achievement. Alright, this next one's actually another short and easy one. There's kind of like a shortcut. Um, so we'll start this level, go down the stairs here. And then go left. And you can actually jump across here, so just run with L bumper, then press Y, and then jump over here. And that just uh, bypasses most of the level. So just run down here, and then make a left. Go through this door. And this right here is the exit. So we're going to leave that level, get the achievement, and now we're going to go on to the next. Alright, this level's pretty easy. You just gotta follow along. So just go straight. Make your way down the stairs. Then we're gonna head right. And go across to the other side. Go straight. Now we're going to make a right here and go down. Alright, here we're going to go through the bookcases, go around to the right, and then go left. And then we can cut through and go up the stairs. There's a pressure plate on the floor here. We're going to stand on it. And that's going to open up the wall. And then we can go through. Follow it down. Go across. You're going to have to jump. You usually get stuck there. Go up the stairs. And then go all the way across. Then we're going to drop down here. Now there's two ways to go. There's the light way and the dark way. We're going to go the dark way. Go left. And this is the exit. So there we go. We get the achievement. And now we can go on to the next level. Alright, for this level, go straight ahead, and then uh, go to the right, and there's a lever that we got to pull. That's going to open up this gate here so we can go through. Now just keep going straight. 
Go all the way down these stairs. Now we're going to go left. And then make a right. Go left. Go across here. Then we're going to make a right here. Make a right. And then a left. This is the ends here. There's a lever. We're going to pull this. And go back to where we just were. Make a right. And this is the exit. So that's it. We're done with this level. We'll get the achievement. And now we're on to the last level. And this is the hardest one. It's not too bad, but there's enemies around we got to watch out for. And uh, we got to get some keys. So we're going to go right. And then we're going to make our first left. There's enemies walking around here. You just got to watch out for them. I just went risky here. I just ran. You can run away from them. So he's actually chasing me. I went to the end, made a right. There's a door here. I was able to actually get inside <laughs> with him still chasing me. There's a key here in the back of the room. I grabbed it, got out of here, and went back to the same way that I came from. It's a little hard to see, but I just went left, and then I go straight. And then I go right at the end of the hallway. And that's going to bring us back to the main room where we started. And here are the stairs. We're going to go to the other side. At the end here is a lantern we can get that will refill it for us. Now we're going to go up the stairs. We're going to go left and we're going to go straight all the way down. We can go right. We're going to go there after when we come back. So just keep going straight. You're going to see there's a bridge here. Just kind of remember your way because we need to uh, come back after. So we go left at the after the bridge, then make a right, follow the path, go up the stairs. And then it goes down. And then we're going to make a left. And it's going to go downstairs. And then we're going to make a left. And now over here, you make a right. And we're going to find a key over here. And that's my second key. Now I'm going to turn around. To the left is where we need to go back, but first we're going to go straight all the way down this hallway. And then when we get down here, we're going to make a left. You'll see some stairs and a door. Go in this door. And now in this room, there could be another key. So now I have three keys already. I'm going to show you where the next spot is. It's close to the exit anyway. So now we're going to head back down that hallway we were just in. And we're going to head back all the way to the bridge. So make a right. Go up here. Make a right. Make a right. We're going to go up the stairs and then down the stairs. Go back. And now we're going to be back by the bridge. All right, this is the bridge. Now we're going to go left here. This is towards the exit. We got to go to the end of this hallway, but we got to be careful. There's this uh, new enemy walking around. There's a couple new enemies in this level. The first one that I ran past is like this uh, big guy. He uh, can't see you that much. So it's kind of easy to get around him. Um, but these screamers are a little more tricky, so you got to be careful. You're going to see one at the end of the hallway. I walked around a little bit just to uh, avoid them. But the screamers walking around here, you got to be careful. You're going to make a left. Then you're going to make the first right here. I didn't go just yet. I was looking around for a second. This is the big guy. You just got to watch out for them. They walk around. Um, as long as you don't get too close, you should be okay. But yeah, I'm going to go back and go down that hallway. So I'll go down here, make a right. 
make a right again. And then this is the other room that could have a key. So if you didn't get three yet, there could be one in here. And now we're going to go to the exit and we're going to finish this level and finish this game. We need to make a left out of here. I went right. I was just looking around. But yeah, let's go back. We're going to go this way. That's where we just were. Now we're going to go left. And then we're going to go right. You can see this thing on the wall. It's kind of like a landmark. So run straight down, and then we're going to make a right, and this is where the exit is. Now, go slow over here. Be careful. Don't go up the stairs. Go right around them. And then when you're over here, you want to hug the wall, and don't run. The guy up there could see you, and he can run after you, and then you'll have to do everything again. So just be careful over here. We're going to go up these back stairs here so we can bypass the enemies. There's a big guy and there's a screamer walking around, so just come up here and try to look to see where they are. And then we're going to quickly run up these stairs when it's safe. And the door to exit is right back here. And then we're going to fall down. And that's going to bring us to the end of the game. We're going to get two achievements. One for beating that level. And one for beating the game. And that right there is your last two achievements. So you'll be done with this game. And you'll have the full 1000 gamer score. So that's it guys. That's the full achievement walkthrough. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helps you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land.